Click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends, we are going to see the representation of SOP expressions on KMAP. Now the long form of SOP expression is sum of product. How to represent the expression on KMAP we will see here, specifically the SOP form. Let's start. <music> will write your aim represent sop expression on k map so the given part is sop expression sum of product expressions always remember the long form sum of product so first expression you have y equals to a bar b c bar plus a b bar c plus a bar b c plus a bar b bar c so this is the first expression you have to calculate all the outputs and then you have to map on the k map so let's start how to solve so we have given equation in sop form we will calculate its output so logic is if a bar is there then we will represent by output 0 b is there then 1 if c bar is there then 0 plus a is there means 1 0 1 then a bar means 0 1 1 a bar means 0 b bar 0 c 1 in this way you have to mention zeros and 1 in terms of the considering SOP form now we'll represent the mean terms so it is a mean term for 0 1 0 is the mean term for m2 1 0 1 means 4 plus 1 is 5 that's why m5 then m3 0 1 1 is the representation for mean term 3 and this is m1 so we got your mean terms next part is take the outputs on the k map so we have final 2 5 3 and 1 so we'll draw the k map how many variables are present over here three variables are present a b and c gray codes are used that's why 0 0 0 1 1 1 1 0 here again 0 and 1 you have to label the boxes 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 and 7 so this is the sop form so represent 1 for given mean terms forget about zeros just represent ones so here m2 m to the best 2 so we'll represent 1 inside the 2 box then we search for 5 we we'll represent 1 here so this part is also over this part is over m3 1 and then m1 so 1 so these are our representations mapping of given sop expression on k map here we have represent one for representing all the mean terms inside the k map in this way you have to form the k map and after that simplification is there so this is the first step of mapping into the k map we will consider the next example so for next example we again write aim represent sop expression on k map your second expression is y is equals to a bar b bar c plus a b bar c bar plus a bar b c bar plus a b c so 
the next step is what is the logic given expression is sop mean terms are represented by logic 1 and you have to find out the corresponding mean terms for given expression so for a bar you will write 0 0 and for c you will write 1 then you have a means 1 0 0 for b bar and c bar we represented by 0 0 then again a bar means 0 b means 1 c bar means 0 after that you have a b c means 1 1 1 in this way you can represent now calculate mean terms calculate the decimal this is decimal 1 means m to the base 1 here it is m4 here it is m2 and here m7 in this way you have to calculate the mean terms now this is your m to calculate the values of mean terms now we will represent it on k map how many variables are there three variables three variables are present over here so k map will represent like this a b and c 0 0 0 1 1 1 1 0 0 and 1 then inside the boxes 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 and 7 focus on these terms m1 means inside the box m1 m4 means represent logic 1 m2 means represent logic 1 inside box 2 and inside box 7 you have to represent logic 1 so all terms are getting considered in this way you have to mention all the logics inside the boxes considering k map now we will see the next example now start with third example write down aim represent SOP. SOP stands for sum of product on K map. So your equation is here A bar B bar C bar plus A bar B C plus A B C bar plus A B C plus a b bar c so again start with what concept is sop expression is there so we will represented by logic one mean terms are represented by logic one three variables are there so three variable k map we will use now the next step is finding out the mean terms so for a bar we'll write zero for b bar zero c bar zero then again a bar zero b one and c one again here only a b c bar is represented by zero here one 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 now here one zero one next step is to calculate the mean terms so m zero m3 0 1 1 is for m3 this is 4 plus 2 means 6 m6 m7 and 4 plus 1 is 5 means m5 so next part is to map on the k map having three variables so we have three variables so k map is like this a b and c 0 0 0 1 1 1 1 0 0 1 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 and 7 so focusing on these terms you have to represent it by logic 1 m 0 1 m3 means third box m6 means sixth box seventh and 
fifth. In such a way, you have to add ones to the respective boxes considering the min terms. So this is all about the explanation regarding the representation of SOP expression on KMAP. Thank you for watching this video. Stay tuned with Ikeda and subscribe to Ikeda.